you know, you know something's up when we start the episode over here. The Minecraft menu. So I got a message from uh, Zaf um, to start recording next time you log on the server. And every time you get a message that says something like that, it's probably a prank. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. I knew it. Um, so we're just gonna <laughs> log in. And I have no idea what to expect. I don't know where it is. He said he said he told me that um, he's going to I'm going to love his new shop design. So I guess it's something to do with his shop that he made. Oh my god. Speaking of the devil. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> There he is over there. There he is. <laughs> We've got some competition, everyone. <laughs> this is amazing. He told me he's going to use these materials, but I didn't think he's going to do this. This is like taking it to the next level. <laughs> did he Zaps premium lighters? He did the interior as well. <laughs> it's the exact same. Oh, I like that. Jack Lantern and Magma Blocks. Wow. It's identical. We've got some competition, everybody. I've got a sore throat, by the way, so if I sound kind of funny, then that's probably why. Um, Zaf's Elytras. Let's have a read, shall we? Hello, valued customer, and welcome to Zaf's. Uh, to Zaf's. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Just Zaf's. Uh, this shop specializes in Elytras. When we did distress testing, our Elytras are proven to be stronger and more durable than your elytra uh, right he told me about this because he has like a bin ball he has like this um little elytra simulation of what it feels like to um to fly in to fly with an elytra so it's stress tested um durable than your average elytra i assume it has unbreaking three we're currently in development of our main shop but in the meantime if you're if our services do interest you be sure to place an order for your very own zaf's elytra place order in other book zaf's elytra stress tested and proven to be stronger than your average elytras zaf's cannot be held accountable for any loss damaged um, or destroyed elytras uh, after delivery. Elytras cost a small fee of 10 diamonds for a quid, a quid. I have such a hard time saying this word. I'm just going to skip it. Um, if SAS elytras are, are requested due to stress testing, price will bump to 15. Wow. Well, Sir Zaf, you, <laughs> copycat. Oh. That's cool. <laughs> right, so I've just been chilling here, and Zaf here offered me <laughs> some orange pop. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Because I have my water bottle thing in my in my thing. That's amazing. Oh my god. Right, so what we're gonna do today? And there he is again. He's following me. I swear. Um, but, but this episode has been action-packed, so... the hell is this? Keep moving forward, never look back. A lever. I will definitely ignite this right now. No, I'm joking. I'm not going to do that. Um, why did they surround Billy? With TNT, that is not nice, guys. Billy's very offended. I hate free TNT. I wouldn't be surprised. I, w I thought, like, maybe one of these TNT are butted. And I was actually dead scared to open this chest over here. <laughs> I thought maybe it was a trap chest. Um, but I knew they wouldn't do that. People on this server aren't mean. Um, but what we're going to do this episode is, firstly, we're going to do something very small. We're going to connect a, um, a path over here between this side and this side. Finally, it's, it's so long. Um, it's been divided, but here we go. I dug this out real quick. I'm just gonna fill it with coarse dirt so it looks like the path over there so it fits in very well. Um, like that, I guess. And then we will raise it up right over here. Lovely, path is done. Just something simple. 
Uh, Zaf also let me know that it, the shop design that looks like this is probably not going to stay like that uh, until he makes his official Elytra shop. Um, but it looks cool. It'll be cool if he keeps it like that. I only don't like the cold blocks. That's the only thing I don't like about it. As the sun sets over there in the distance, no more distractions. Uh, this episode so far, the first five minutes, has been full of little stuff. And uh, the rest of the episode is actually going to be little stuff. This episode is going to be, we're going to be working this episode on doing uh, small, smaller stuff uh, here and there um, that needs to be done. And number one was to connect the path from there to there, which we already did. Number two is to do something over there in the swamp biome, which is a big thing, but it's going to take less than a whole. It doesn't need a whole episode dedicated to it. And number four, number three, number four, what was on? I was on two, so I said one. To number three, that's it, not four. Oh, hello. Is this over here? This was here for such a long time. This um, line, this hedge of spruce leaves, and I absolutely hate it. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I thought it looked good then, but right now I'm looking at it again, and I'm like, do you know what? Nah, that's not working. Uh, maybe one like this looks a little bit better. I'm um, just one block high since it is modern. Uh, but even that, I'm like, mm-mm, nah, -uh, mm -mm, not happening. Um, so we gotta gotta redo this to something that looks fairly decent. All right, so that's cleared out, and the first thing we can already do to make this look better is get rid of these guys. These I absolutely hate. These poppies and these dandelions with the JSO craft texture pack. They maybe look a little bit better. But I still despise them. <laughs> we don't want too much color here. Oh, you're going to give me a rough time, aren't you? Come at me. Let's see you. That's one. That's two. That's three. There you go. Um, but yeah, so it's looking a little bit cleaner. We probably want to get rid of all this stuff here. Uh, just so we can have a good idea of what we're going for. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. What do we want to put here? Eventually, we want to have a path path connecting from here to Orc's thing over there. But I'm going to leave that for to, for Orc. Um, but what we can do right now, I like this. This little corner with these little rocks and stuff. So we're probably going to connect it as, you know what, as a matter of fact, maybe. All right, okay. It's starting to take shape. Just push this back a little bit, dug this down, and we're probably gonna maybe, maybe have a little lake here, a little lagoon, a little pond. Maybe it's a bit small to be called a lake. I don't know what the term is for it. Probably not pond. Um, but yeah, so maybe, maybe we can do a little water hole over here. Yeah, I like that. That's not too bad. Uh, now I'm out. I'm officially out of ice. So I need to head over and take a trip to the ice farm and uh, AFK there for maybe five minutes. And uh, we should have plenty, especially because I'm the only one on the server. Actually, it's not a it's not a mob farm, so I guess that doesn't matter. Um, but we should have plenty to fill in this little pond. And uh, I don't want to fill in only the top layer. I know you can do that and it will make it, you know, you can you can only fill the top layer up with water and then it'll be like you filled in the whole thing. But I wanna do it layer by layer because by doing that, all of the blocks in the uh, lake or pond or whatever are um, water source blocks. Uh, and if you only fill in the top layer, then you have only the top layer is source blocks, so all the water is flowing downward. So if you ride a horse in, in there or whatever, it is pretty much impossible to get him out because there's always that flow downwards because all the water from the top layer is flowing downwards. Um, so yeah, and I don't want that. Looks like there isn't even a single piece of ice here. Um, so I'm going to have to AFK here. Do I have any blocks? I sure do. Oh, look at that. We got our first block of ice. Yeah, got it. Sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to cover myself... In over here. Actually, I could just go into here. Um, this is the redstone. Let's see. Ah, I'm just gonna do it right over here. I'm gonna AFK right over here for maybe five minutes. Make me a cup of tea, <laughs> and uh, we'll see how much ice we have. All right. So some time has passed, and let's see what we got. Oh man, we have more than enough. Let's see. Luckily, I have my silk touch pickaxe on me already, so we could just do this. Insta mine everything. A stack and 24, that is more than enough. Sweet, now we can get the hell out of here. 
Alright, so let's get this going now. I know what you're all thinking. A stack and 24 ice blocks is way... Oh, we got a zombie over here. We got a visitor. Alright, a stack and 24 is not enough to fill all this in, right? But here's a little pro tip for you. Most of you probably already know this. But to uh, fill this whole thing in, we don't need to fill in like block by block. Imagine these grass blocks are ice. We don't need to do this, right? We don't need to fill it all in like that. Uh, what we could do, what you can do in order to fill something in like this, you only need to put, put ice blocks on the edges like so. We'll do this as a small example. So like that, and then if we, oh, well, <laughs> of course I have my silk touch pickaxe. Where, where can I find an ender chest around here? I got one. All right, so as I was saying, you can uh, put ice only around the edges like of the layer and it will fill it in completely. Maybe it doesn't make much sense on a small scale, but if we do it on this big scale, I will put ice blocks only over here like so around the edges and then you will see. Oh, that's wrong. Let's get an ice. So Dutch big axe. Every block counts and then you will see don't need this that as soon as I break them, it will fill everything up. It'll do like it'll like flow together. So we're gonna break it all and watch watch the magic happen. Boom, it's filled up. Like a boss. And we have almost a stack left. That is way more than we need. Do you know while filling this in, it doesn't look half bad when it's lowered the block like that, you know? It kinda makes sense. So I might I might keep it. I don't know. I'm going to continue building this place over here like I had planned. And we'll see if... Because, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Like that, right? Because it kind of, like, gives the sand a purpose. I don't want to have sand, like, up here. Because then it doesn't make sense. You go from grass to sand. I don't like that too much. Um, so I think we're going to keep it one block lower down. Um, but something I need to do is to get some sort of light source going over here. So... Luckily, we have this melon and pumpkin t tower right over here. So we'll just grab some of this stuff. Do this. Do that. Boom. And let's dump all this back in here. There we go. We have a visitor. Hello. Why are you here and not in the slime farm? Speaking of the slime farm, let's quickly have a look and see how many drops we got. Uh, was up there, which is not that close to this. But let's see. So we have in the hopper. Is it full? It is full. What about this hopper? Is it full? It is full. What about this hopper? Is it full? Almost. What about this one? Almost. That is not bad. Not bad at all. This farm is just one chunk and it's not loaded too often. Plus, there are a lot of caves here that are lit up like that over there. We need to light that place up. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I love this. I love these slimes, man. Oh, no. Wow. Did I really get 11 slime ball from just killing those two? I think I killed two. All right, let's see how many slime balls we get from this. Oh, man. Wow. How much is that? 39 slime. That's pretty crazy. I have got so much stuff. I gathered some stuff. We have all of this stuff. And uh, we'll see if there's uh, if I can work something out out of all of this materials. We have some uh, spruce fence, some stone, a piston for maybe a table, some wood, and wood stuff over here we got some bone blocks to convert into bone meal we got some flower pots some cactus some lily pads for obvious reasons and a whole bunch of other stuff and my thinking my plan is to maybe have over here in this little corner maybe push this back a little bit more maybe we can have some sort of um you know just a little sitting table a sitting table sitting table <laughs> uh, just a little uh, corner to sit like a little bench or something and then my plan is to have right over maybe here Bam. just like that we can have a nice tree overhanging this area over here now hopefully uh it won't obstruct the view from orcs place too much um Although that building over there is currently obstructing a lot of the view, but <laughs> all of, all of this stuff over here, the melon tower in the center, um, the circle, hopefully the tree won't obstruct its view too much. But here's a little trick for you that I originally saw quite a few months ago, actually, from one of Exuma Void's video. You can place a glass block right there, one block up and diagonal to uh, oak sapling 
and uh, that will guarantee 100% of the, okay, that's a bit much, 100% of the times that it will grow into a big tree, and I will show it to you in action. It might take a little bit of bone meal, but I kind of want to maybe move it to right over there. It's a bit better. Um, but yeah, so let's do this, shall we? Let's put it right there, and the glass block right over there, like so. And uh, let's see how much bone meal it'll eat up before it turns into a big tree. Okay, that was fast. <laughs> and let's have, see how it looks. Eh, a little bit bigger than I wanted. Doesn't obstruct the view too much. You can kind of see that over there. Hmm. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Done. Eh. You know, it's not the best tree in the world, but I will take it. It's not too bad. So I modified the original tree a little bit. I added uh, an extra trunk support, supporting supports, uh, and the, with these fence posts. Looks looks kind of like twigs, you know, but I always like doing that. Also, some of these slabs over here. And then just to finish it off, I, st I said, do you know what? Why not have a little uh, lantern hanging over the water over here? which doesn't look half bad. Um, I also kind of added a few of these droopy leaves over here. Um, every now and again, uh, gives the tree a little bit more structure, I think. Um, but it's pretty cool. So that is that. Um, only thing left to do now is to do this little corner over here. Then I need to like have some sort of fence going over here. So I think what we're gonna do is just old fashioned like that. And then you can have your slab and then you could just have a, a fence going across it or something. And that doesn't look half bad just like that. Maybe not even a complete fenced off area. Maybe just like that, you know, just uh, mm, not like that. Definitely not like that. Maybe like this, huh? What do you think about this? Hold on, that's not good. All right, ha -ah. there you go. And then we can put a slab on top, you know, just to uh, mix it up a little bit. But I think it's pretty cool, pretty cool. Wait a second. <laughs> I just ran past here and saw like here. I'll, I'll try and replay this if he doesn't notice me. Do you notice me? I noticed me, damn it! So I just ran past here and I just see this creeper like just like minding his own business, chilling in that corner. Didn't even notice me. He was just standing right there, just looking at this torch or whatever. <laughs> that was funny. Aha! Progress update. So I decorated this pond over here. Added some lily pads. A few sugar cane. That one has string on top to stop it from growing. A few rocks. Continued the theme from over here. I think it looks uh, and fits very nicely. And uh, then uh, what I did is this. This over here. This is kind of like a front porch. You know what I mean? Uh, so we have this. I love the way the spruce looks next to all this stone and gray colors. I think it is absolutely fan fantastic and then moved some of the bushes over here added some sugar can we got some water source blocks underneath uh, these three cyan clay blocks uh, source blocks because I hate the sound the water makes you know the flowing water sound um, so that's why we did it source blocks and then let's just clear my inventory a little bit um, I have this over here. This is a little plant uh, with glowstone inside. Again, I say this a lot. Um, some people very much dislike the glowstone over there. Uh, people uh, tend to use like a cauldron with uh, the light source underneath or maybe even a, a uh, did I say cauldron? Yeah, I said cauldron, a hopper or maybe just a log with trapdoor or something. But I love the glowstone because it gives it kind of an old classic look um, because a lot of people used to uh, use this. And I really much like that. I love the old classic looks. Um, plus, it gives some light over here, which is always a good thing because I can't really think of a way to hide light over here instead of having an ugly torch on a fence post. Uh, so this works out very nicely. And uh, then we have the sitting thing over here, which have a very nice plan as of what to put on top of here later. And then we have this. This is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> it's so cute. Cactuses in uh, this torch. <clears throat> oh, no. I broke this. I hate that torch over there. We got to find a new place for it. It just blocks the view of the cactus, you know, uh, maybe right over there. Does that light up the place good enough? Mm, not so much. Hmm. I'm going to have to figure something out for that. Maybe. Yeah, I guess it's not so bad having a torch over there. It kind of blocks the cactus. I'm going to have to think about it. 
Um, but yeah, so that is all I got over here, and I have a, a nice little plan as of to what put over here. Maybe a little PO, uh, what do you call it? PO box, right? You know, a little mailbox over here, so that people won't constantly drop off chests inside of here with an emerald block on top, like what happened uh, last episode. GT an advertisement, advertisements, mail, any sort of stuff like that. You know, books. To announce shop openings and stuff will go into the mailbox over here so i'll check it every day to see what i have um also uh, maybe because this is like a tech corp ceo building <laughs> that may be payments for all the tech corp stuff because there's no official currently for all the tech corp purchases i said in the book um you know the confirmation of the purchase the customer's purchase i said to drop the payment off over there and take your receipt so maybe i'll say take your receipt and drop it off at the ceo's P po box which would be right over here i don't know i'm gonna have to think about it uh, but i'm pretty sure that's what i'm gonna do so now the only thing left to do that i can think of right is to have a nice fence over here and over here to stop people from uh, jumping into the water <laughs> and uh, maybe have a little dock uh, actually it's I think it's a bit too small to have a very small fishing dock um, but yeah by the way I very I'm very much happy with uh, why we chose to leave it one block in and not fill it all the way up to here I think that makes it so much nicer um, but yeah so maybe a dock somehow but I think this place is too small so we're probably not going to do that um, but then I kind of want to push this back a little bit and have something to make it look like it's holding back the wall um, but I don't want to push this block back I want maybe to push it up to here ah you know what yeah I could push it back to here like this so all of this would be the same level as that have a nice little fountain like you do have in like in um uh, in gardens sometimes a little fountain um and then we could have that will give a, an, an opportunity for org to nicely you know when he's going to do the path over here it look really nice looking over my place over here so i think i'm going to do that um in terms of inside it doesn't look uh, i really like the way it looks it doesn't look that bad I think it looks pretty cool. I especially like the sugar cane. That one sugar cane right over there like pops out, gives it some color. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I'm very much happy with it. Oh, God damn it. Put it one bun. Lasts longer. No. Stone bun. I like it better. The um, thing I don't like is maybe what I'm going to do, lower this down like so. Throw that away. And then... If I have a single stone block, a singular stone block like that, we can make a quick stone button like that. And then, oh yeah, that makes it look looks much nicer, much cleaner. And it's a difficult piece of cake. I've done the railing over here, and I think it looks really, really cool. I thought maybe I could put the torch here instead of there. Would that work? No, because the torch is up, the torch is up close even more than there. So it obstructs the view even more. <laughs> um, but that is it for this episode. Time flies so fast when you're having a good time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you are, make sure to click on that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then why not subscribe for more amazing videos like this one, for more amazing, beautiful builds like this one. That's it for me. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.